Hey everyone, this is Smitty bringing you another video. This time I wanted to go over our logging operations on our server, showing you how to make a little bit extra cash. Uh, typically, we do logging while our workers are harvesting or sowing fields. Uh, you know, you get a whole fleet of workers out there and you need something to do. Uh, logging's a perfect little uh, side business to get into. Now, the setup that I have uh, starts with the Gens BA725 wood chipper. Now, this guy is pretty sweet. It has this nice big inlet to it, so it's very easy to just have piles of wood stacked next to it. And, you know, you can just keep on throwing them up in there. Uh, it's really easy to throw logs. Uh, and let's see, the Gens is under forestry equipment. It is $64,000. Now, there is a more expensive unit, which uh, my group, we tried first, which is the 583Z. Um, this, I, I didn't quite like it as much. It doesn't have a, as big of an inlet to throw the wood into, but it does have a little crane. So you can drop trees on the side of the road, pull this guy forward, and use the crane to just pick up whole trees and feed them into the chipper. I didn't like the controls for that crane, and that's why I uh, decided to switch over to the 725. Both of these can be pulled by a tractor, which is nice. It's a nice little mobile uh, logging operation. Uh, when we first started, we actually used this guy, which uh, converts logs directly into wood chips, which are immediately sold. So, you know, this is nice, but the fact that it doesn't move is kind of a pain in the butt. Uh, you, you don't want to spend $72,000 for every little small area. Uh, transporting logs is a huge pain in the butt. Uh, they I don't like loading them in the tippers. The logging trucks are really lackluster. Like, the buffalo is really slow. So, I, I just... I the, I'll, I'll show you why this ends up being just a little bit faster. So, the Scorpion King is just amazing. This is like the best piece of equipment in the whole game. It's really easy to use. It's fun. You know, uh, it is $317,000. So, it is quite an investment to get it going. But basically, you just drive right up to a tree. And let's see if I can ever clean this guy up correctly. And then we can just cut it down. And this is one of the big suckers, too. So, What's neat about this setup is you can just drive this guy right back to the wood chipper. Clean this guy up. Once you get close, it's best to actually just use the arm to move the log over the belt. Now if you move the whole machine, it's kind of a pain in the butt when you open this stuff. And, uh, but as you can see, this is just nice and easy. I am just cutting in one meter lengths and the reason for that is especially with these big trees if you cut a two meter length uh, they'll if some of them don't load in correctly a two meter trunk of this tree is too heavy to pick up by hand so it's a little bit easier to just cut uh, one meter lengths that way any spillover is just quite easy to just pick up and uh, throw right into the wood chipper so, as you can see, that back conveyor belt has sawdust going up it as the wood's feeding in. Now, that's how you're going to know when your tipper's full. If you keep on feeding logs into it and the sawdust stops like it does right there, now, if I was still feeding logs and that stops, it means that your tipper's full. Now, this, uh, this wood chipper does have 5,000 internal storage, so it's not the end of the world. But if you continuously feed after that storage fills, the logs just disappear. Uh, so you're losing, you're spending time, and you're not getting anything out of it. So, now that you have all of these wood chips, what do you do with them? Uh, you can drive them to the mill uh, and sell them. Uh, you can see the price for uh, wood chips is very low right now. The sawmill is the only place that will take them. Uh, so it's only 250 right now. I've seen it go as high as 400, 450 maybe. Um, but 
I don't like driving all the way across the map uh, every single time this fills up because it fills up very quickly. So what I did is I have this little setup here. Now these right here are heating plants. You can find them under placeables. They are $68,000 and dropping wood chips will sell, uh, produce heat and earn money. So you just have a series of belts set up. Um, originally I just had one of these small conveyor belts feed into this guy and I just had one of them. And the issue is, is that uh, if that tipper is full, there's so much sawdust that will spread out so far that uh, that conveyor belt, it goes beyond the reach of that conveyor belt to pick up. So you'll have small little piles that you'll have to deal with, with a bucket or by moving the belt, and it can be a pain in the butt. So I devised this system, uh, and you can just drive in and start unloading. And you can see all six will start to pick them up. If your pile starts getting too big and starts getting to the belts, you just pull forward a little bit. And you can see there's enough room to drop an entire tipper full of wood chips without a, a problem. So, as you can see, my money is ticking up. Uh, as far as I can tell, the price that you get uh, by selling it this way is proportional to the wood chip price at the mill. So if that price is low, you're going to get less money. Uh, but like I said, this isn't uh, for a sole source of income. It's just something uh, extra to do. If you have a Scorpion King, you can jump into it and get a full 59,000 wood chips before any of your of your workers harvesters are full so it's a nice little side project to do uh, hope you guys like it if you have any ideas on how to improve it let me know all right everybody have a good one